Today I'm looking at the Trim UI Smart Pro Retro Handheld Console provided by Mech DIY. They sent this unit over, but all opinions are my own. This device currently retails for about $100, but hey, stay tuned because at the end of the video, I'll tell you how you can cut that cost down even further. Mech DIY has a special price and promo code just for Retrocombs viewers. Let's start with an unboxing. The folks also sent over a case along with the console. Now this is generally an additional purchase, but it was a nice touch for this review. Inside the box, you'll find a SanDisk 128 gigabyte micro SD card preloaded with games. It's unique to find a SanDisk branded SD card with these units. Inside you also will find a USB-C charging and data cable, a user's manual, and the console itself. To get started, you simply insert the micro SD card into the console and turn it on. The OS will configure and install the Crossmix OS onto the console. Once the install is complete, you're ready to start gaming. This console is sleek with a form factor similar to a PlayStation Portable or Vita and feels solid in the hand. It's made from ABS plastic and glass, giving it a premium feel. Weighs about, uh, about 220 grams, making it lightweight, yet feels sturdy. The console comes in three colors. I opted for the vintage gray since the colors seemed a little more retro with this tan or beige case and these maroon buttons. There are dual analog sticks with customizable RGB lighting. These can be adjusted in the settings menu to cycle through various colors or stay fixed on your favorite shade. While the four buttons, A, B, X, and Y, provide additional actions depending on the game or menu context. The start and select buttons located at the bottom of the unit are used for pausing games or accessing menus. There's also a menu button which allows you to access additional functions such as searching for games and quitting emulators. The shoulder buttons assist with navigating the user interface allowing quick page up and down scrolling and can also serve as extra in-game controls. All the buttons are responsive and comfortable providing a satisfying gameplay experience. There's also a lanyard slot, two forward-facing speakers, delivering clear stereo sound at about 1.5 watts each, and curiously, a microphone is included. On the bottom, there's a function switch that you can customize for functions like adjusting processor speed, screen brightness, or LED light configuration, making the device even more flexible and customizable. The screen is a beauty. It's a 4.96 inch IPS display with a 1280 by 720 HD resolution. Whether you're playing Commodore 64, ZX Spectrum, or even 16-bit console games, the screen makes them look good at any angle. Just a note, this is not a touch screen, so all navigation is done with the physical controls. Now let's dive into the software. The Surwish Crossmix OS is truly where this handheld shines. It's built on a Linux distribution, specifically a modified version of Linux kernel 4.9. Crossmix OS was originally developed for Surwish devices and has since evolved to support a wide array of emulators and tools tailored for retro gaming enthusiasts. It provides a lightweight, efficient environment that maximizes performance while ensuring compatibility across various retro platforms. With over 100 emulators in this thing, you can enjoy popular 8-bit computer emulators like Vice for Commodore 64, Fuse for ZX Spectrum, Capri 32 for Amstrad CPC, and Atari 800 for Atari 8-bit computers. These emulators are seamlessly integrated into Crossmix OS giving you easy access to your favorite retro systems. The Crossmix OS interface features main menus across the top, each offering specific functions. Favorites allows you to quickly access your favorite games. Recents keeps track of recently played games, which is great when you want to continue where you left off. Best, one of my favorite features, the best menu collects games into theme galleries. One outstanding option is the best vertical shoot 'em ups when you select a game from this gallery, the game automatically rotates and the controls are set up so you can play in portrait orientation. That's the kind of attention to detail that makes this thing a really fun unit. The emulators area provides access to over 100 emulators covering everything from Commodore 64 to Atari 8-bit systems all the way up to more modern systems such as the PlayStation 1. 
The apps menu offers additional software tools, including a built-in screen recorder, CPU Max, and dot .files cleaner. The Netplay menu is available if you're into online multiplayer. The Netplay menu enables you to connect and play with friends or other retro gamers. And then finally, settings. This menu gives you control over everything from RGB lighting, customizing that function switch, and connecting to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth devices, which, by the way, you can connect Bluetooth keyboards and blue other Bluetooth devices to this unit, as well as export your audio to a Bluetooth device. Searching through ROMs is a breeze with the built-in search function. You can search by emulator or you can search across emulators. Let's look for a title. Let's say I'm looking for a cool Star Wars game. And you can see we have a few available to us. We simply cursor over and select the game we want to play. Exiting games is also easy. Press the menu button, scroll down to exit game, hit the A button, and you'll be returned to the main menu. Use the B button to go back. Once you get the hang of it, it's a pretty easy interface to get used to. Now, one of the things that was surprising was the inclusion of the 8-bit emulators for Commodore, Atari, ZX Spectrum, Amstrad. Not necessarily that the emulator was included, but this one even includes games for those systems. And not just a few. It includes some of the best games for these systems. It's an 8-bit home computer fan's dream come true in a handheld. And what I love is they haven't just been thrown in, they've been finely tuned to work beautifully. Let's take a look at the Commodore 64 emulator. It's fantastic. Games run smoothly, the graphics look great, and the controls are responsive. But here's what really stands out. They've also set up the on-screen keyboard. This makes accessing those crucial C64 keys, function keys, run stop a breeze, and helps bring back that authentic classic gaming feel. And the ZX Spectrum emulator is just as impressive, bringing those colorful and quirky classics to life as well as providing the additions you need, such as a keyboard, to make sure that your experience is as classic as possible on this modern handheld. Now, I'm not much of an Amstrad CPC person, never really experienced one, but this device allowed me to experience Amstrad CPC games for the very first time using its emulator and the included games. That's kind of a cool touch for someone who is looking to explore other retro systems and haven't been able to find one for their collection. And as an aside, yes, for my fellow Commodore enthusiasts, yes, there is a Commodore Amiga emulator. It's in there and it's got some great games included. It includes a solid selection of titles at Ready Play, making this device even more appealing for those of us who appreciate the entire Commodore range of computers. Plus, adding your own ROMs is a simple drag and drop affair from your PC to the connected console or by removing the SD card and inserting it into your PC. You can even connect to the console remotely on your network using a couple of different protocols to transfer files. Now in the apps area, they've even included some handy tools. Let's talk about a few of them. Of course, you can reboot your system. Portmaster allows you to download ports of classic and modern games. You do have system tools. Within systems tools, you can make changes to the Crossmix OS settings. You also have a scraper that allows you to scrape your ROMs to get all of the menu data you need, such as thumbnails and information. A couple of other favorites. You do have the USB storage option. Plug in a USB cable to here, turn that on, and you can access your USB storage on your computer. Because this is Linux, there is a full terminal where you can issue terminal commands. What I definitely love is the fact that this provides over-the-air updates for future updates to the operating system. You can change your boot logo if you want a custom one. Seems like that is right for me to go in and put a Retrocombs boot logo on there. Because RetroArch is the back end, you can make that selection and make changes to RetroArch. You do have an emulation cleaner, which will just clean up your system if you've got some garbage in there. You do have a built-in file manager. You can manage files directly on the device. And then one of my favorite features is the screen recorder, which I have used to capture gameplay for this video. And then another favorite feature is just a quick user's guide. If you're not sure what something does, click on the user's guide and it'll give you information about each of the apps that we just talked about.
Now, while I'm all about 8-bit computers, the Trim UI Smart Pro can also handle 16-bit console games and some even more modern games like Wolfenstein 3D run smoothly and at many times up to 60 frames per second. It's really a good experience. Come in. Now, I know you're curious. You just want to know what games are available as well as which emulators. Let's take a look at this quick montage of me playing some games. And hey, the video has time codes below, so if you want to jump ahead, feel free to do that. I think the Trim UI Smart Pro is a fantastic handheld for anyone who loves 8-bit home computers and retro gaming in general, but also likes to dabble in some modern games, especially at its affordable price point at around a hundred bucks and less, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. I think this is a really great value. You're gonna get hours of gameplay on this thing, and you're gonna get gameplay that you can't get on those other systems with regard to retro computer titles. I have to say this device has been by my side for the whole time I've had it. I have had a blast exploring it, seeing what the capabilities are, what games are installed, and I know you would enjoy it too. If you're ready to get your own Trim UI Smart Pro, you can grab yours directly from Mech DIY. Now here's the good news. I have an exclusive link in the video description below. Use that link and then at checkout, be sure to add Retrocomb 16 
to get a 16% discount. That's gonna drive that $100 price down just a little bit and make it even more affordable for you retro combians out there. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Trim UI Smart Pro handheld gaming console. But before you go, check out these other handheld retro systems I've reviewed. They are a little less expensive, but they do provide hours of fun. That's it for now. Retrocombs out.